Okay, uh, this is, I'm getting real close on the Willis. I've got the engine in it, the engine runs, the transmissions behind it, the drive shaft. We'll go under it in just a minute, but uh, it runs out real good. And I don't know what we talked about back in the other videos, but a real quick overview on what's been done. Originally, I put a uh, 390 Ford with three twos, put the headers out the side, and all that. And I got to thinking it's too much motor for this car. The engine was too expensive. So I pulled it out and I put this 283 in it. It's got aluminum intake. It's got a Mallory distributor. I had to mount the alternator like this because the heads are a single hump head and there's no place to bolt an alternator to them. So what I did, I built, there's a bracket behind this uh, pressure regulator that bolts to the intake manifold and it's got a bolt that runs through it and holds it on the bottom and then this brace goes down here to the water pump and bolts in there and that holds the alternator. So uh, I was able when I put the 283 in it to run the stock fan on it which I like the fans better. The only problem with this stock fan is that I've got to build a little bit of a shroud just up about that high because I did this one day and the fan touched me. It, the fan's above this. Oh, wow. So it is a little dangerous. So I'll fix that. And also put a uh, electric fan in the front just for it when you stop and the idling. Originally with a 390, this is the way we were going to run it. And uh, when I took the 390 out and put the 283 in it, that was no longer a problem. Same thing with the exhaust manifolds. I have a regular Chevrolet exhaust manifold out the bottom. I got new exhaust on it and uh, carburetor, uh, aluminum radiator. I got a Vega steering box that I put on it and I still got to adjust. I got to adjust it and it comes out the bottom and the drag link goes to the other side. So uh, the master cylinder, I had to reposition it a couple times. If I hadn't put the 390 in, I could have put the master cylinder in the same place that it should have been on the firewall, long story there. Well, when I originally put a master cylinder in here, I got the outlets coming this way. Well, the 390 came right up against it. So I had to go get another master cylinder and run them out, the lines out that way. So that all went in there. The engine looks like it was made for the car. I mean, it fits in it perfect. Uh, we'll go underneath it in just a minute, but I'll show you around here what else I've done or had done. Uh, Let's see, this is the interior put in it and now I got the front and back seat and we're getting ready to do something here with the door panels and then I'll get some carpet and put in it. I put a low car shifter in it and it's uh, you can take this down it's kind of take this up it's kind of hard to see and you can see the whole top of the transmission here I got to get a boot built for it the way the uh, transmission's built. But it's, uh, I'll crank it up here. I hope I got gas in it. Ah, wow, that looks comfortable. street it doesn't run hot it's just a nice driver what we'll do now I mean, you can see how I had the exhaust come out the side here that's on both sides right right 
good, both sides. So we'll take it up and I'll show you what's going on underneath that. Starting from the front, and I think we've gone all over this before, but I put a Chevrolet uh, truck straight axle under it, and then I put disc brakes on it, and I put uh, Jaguar disc brakes, and I didn't think nothing about it. Well, then I put uh, GM uh, calipers, and they wouldn't fit because see how close it fits here? So I had to get Jaguar uh, disc uh, calipers and then it fits nicely and everything works. But I had to build a uh, deal to hold the caliper. So these are Jaguar uh, calipers. But funny thing about it, they're made by GM. <laughs> they're a GM caliper for Jaguar. Wow. And all they do to them is they add a little bit more money on to them. I think these cost me uh, 130 bucks for two of them, I think. I can't remember. but uh, Versus 20 for the GM ones, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you go back. This I built in here because see how I had to uh, move this? The springs, the uh, Chevrolet pickup truck was narrower than this car, so that's the frame for this car. I had to build these boxes on it to put the uh, springs where they would fit. I couldn't go any further that way with the spring. So I put this in here, then I built this as a brace to hold the front end back here apart. Uh, the straight axle will hold it apart in here. And the same thing, this is the motor mount for the uh, Ford 390, and then I built these mounts for the uh, 283, and I put these straps on here to hold in the event that the shackle comes loose from the box. This will give you a little bit of ooh time. You'll have a little bit of safety issue there, not an issue, but it's a safety thing. I had the guy come out and run the exhaust all the way back, and these are thrush turbo mufflers. I thought they'd be a little bit louder than what they are. And uh, then this is a used transmission that it seems to be good. I've driven it, and I got to uh, put new bolts in here. The guy that I got it from, he just did this, and you can see what happened. It's leaking. Low car shifter, how easy they are to put in. If I had to put another one in today, I could do it in 15 minutes and it works. It's not like a lot of shifters that don't work. Right. Here's a common problem with the old engines. You get an adapter that goes up in here for the oil filter. These were canister filters and you get an adapter, but they all leak. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, you can't get around it. And this is an old engine, so it leaks out the back, but it runs good. Had a new drive shaft built for it. And uh, it's got new U joints in it. Uh, the traction bar has got four new shocks all the way around. That loop's it. nice too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had some people comment on it. Well, why didn't you put it forward? Well, I put it back here because this was the easiest place for it to go. If it falls, it'll come to here and it'll be at an angle like that. I don't no, that's not that. escaping anywhere. No. Oh. And if it breaks back here, it'll fall here. So. That's that. So the springs, these are original Willis springs. The traction bars aren't completed yet. I got to get them, get some rubber right here where when they go up, they hit here, hit here. And then I'll bolt them down and I'll run a weld here. These, from what I understand, you just bolt them and they're supposed to stay, but I don't think they will. So. I put new plates, new U bolts. It's gonna got a 10 bolt rear end, and the gear. I don't know what kind of gear it is. Got all new brake lines on it, and I put a fuel cell in the trunk, and I had to cut into the bed or the trunk and put this part here. 
and I got a Holly fuel pump here that's extremely noisy, and if I were driving it, just to drive it, I'd put one of them little $35 pumps up here someplace where that it wouldn't be quite as noisy as that Holly, and use the Holly if you ever want to race it. What, well, could you isolate it with rubber or no? I, you could, but they're still loud. Okay. Yeah, that was loud. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're aggravating. Even with the rubber and everything, they're still loud. And back here again, I did the deal here. Now, I mounted the uh, battery tray in this. We'll let it down, and I'll show you. But this was the only rust holes that were in it. I filled them, run tape across this, put Bondo in the bottom. And once I hit it with a sander and paint it, you'll never know they were there. So it, the car is really turning out nice. I'm very pleased with the car. Let it down again. Okay, I got the side chrome on it, and I had to buy new uh, clips for it. They're extremely difficult to find. But I managed to get it on here, and it's on pretty good. I got to find the clips for this, so uh, that's they just pop in, and I don't exactly know what they look like because I got none with the car. And for your information, Leo, I got five lug nuts on each one. Hey, there you go. 